Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells. I have another sales update video for you. This covers the time frame between May 15th, 2019 and June 14th, 2019, so a month's worth of sales. And I'm showing you sales from my eBay store, Atlanta Golf Shop, which I have set up as a teaching store so that I can share everything with you and you can see what the average person can do on eBay. I have been selling since 2003. As of this recording, I have over 14,000 feedbacks. And I'm changing the format a little bit on these videos. I asked some questions last time about what you like, what you didn't like. And the overwhelming majority likes the length of the video showing everything that's sold with the commentary on some items but I am not going to show the watch count screenshots anymore it just makes it easier for me to make the video more quickly and you all know by now after six months of me doing these that that's where the additional information is coming from the number of watchers and the number of views on an item which is not shown on the eBay item screenshot so if you want to check anything out, go to watch count, plug it in, and look it up. As far as the numbers I'm going to show you, check out my video on bookkeeping, knowing your numbers. That will explain how I'm getting these numbers. There seems to be questions every time on, are is this your net profit? Is this your gross profit? What is this? And just go watch that video, and it explains how an eBay seller should be keeping track of their numbers so that you know what your net profit is. That's what I focus on is profit. Sales really don't mean anything because they don't show the whole picture of your business. So don't buy into the hype or be too impressed by people who only show their sales numbers because they could have sold one item for $3,000 or they're not showing you all their expenses. They're not showing you the cost of the item or the cost of the goods sold, which is all the fees and expenses that go into selling an item. So that's really important with eBay because it's all about what you keep. And if you're not keeping track of that, go check out that video. It's real easy to set up a spreadsheet to figure it out for you. So all you have to do is put in your shipping numbers each time and you will know your net profit Per item. Okay, so I want to start with this Chico's top. I paid $3.18. It sold for $20. Profit was $14.88. This sold in four weeks. 34 views and two watchers. Chico's is one of my go-to brands. I sell a lot of it, as you'll see, and if you are not familiar with it, I have a course on that you can take that will explain what to pick and what to leave behind. And I've got an Ann Taylor skirt here. This um, actually sold in one day. I paid $2.12. Sold for full price of $29.97. It only had eight views. So this is proof that you don't need a lot of views. You don't need any watchers for things to sell. Next item is an Athleta dress. This was free to me. I sold it for full price of $34.97. Profit was $31.11, sold in five weeks, 45 views and two watchers. This is a Bowden skirt. This is a brand out of the United Kingdom. I paid $3.18, sold for 20 on best offer. Profit was $14.81, sold in two months, 109 views and two watchers. And this did not go internationally. So even though it's a brand out of the UK, Americans buy it. This is a non-clothing item. Disney Parks Mickey Mouse Pen Trading Collecting Notebook. Paid $3 for this. Sold for $20. Profit was $15.81. Sold in three weeks. 79 views and one watcher. And just to remind you that I have put this store out there for many, many, many years. People know who I am. They follow my store. They watch my items. I know a lot of these watchers and views are not from buyers. They're from other sellers who are learning. So 
take that into consideration when you see a lot of views or watchers it's it's not all buyers and I'm, I'm well aware of that okay another non clothing item Murano Italian art glass angelfish I paid two dollars for this took a best offer of 25 profit was twenty dollars and thirty two cents sold in two weeks 71 views and one watcher another Chico's item beautiful open front cardigan kimono item this sold for full price I paid six dollars and thirty five cents sold it for thirty four ninety seven profit was twenty four fifty two sold it in three weeks three hundred and six views and eleven watchers now I did put this at the top of my store on the featured items those four items that you can put across the top of your store and whatever I put up there gets a whole lot of views so that's one of the reasons this had so many views on it this was a new brand for me rock mount ranch wear western rodeo shirt I paid six dollars and thirty five cents it sold for thirty seven seventy seven Profit was $27.10. It sold in three weeks, 145 views, and three watchers. And uh, if you're wondering why you see weird amounts on best offer sometimes, they're trying to make the shipping plus the cost of an item e equal a certain round number maybe or whatever their budget is for buying something. So a lot of times those two numbers, the best offer and the shipping cost, will add up to something even like $45 or you know a round number like that and um, another note on this item I went back and forth with the buyer he had a lot of questions about measurements even though I had them all on there he wanted other measurements I didn't have he really liked this shirt and really wanted it and was just a super nice guy and it went to a ranch out in Colorado so somebody got a really nice rodeo western wear shirt okay this Calvin Klein dress I paid three dollars and seventy cents sold for twenty dollars profit was twelve dollars and ninety cents sold in six weeks 365 views with 14 watchers I have no idea what was going on with this one it was an, another of those that was at the top in the featured items section I had a bunch of pretty spring color items just to make it look pretty and I think that's why it got so many views and people watching it but um, it wasn't a super expensive brand nothing extremely special about it so that's just kind of weird sometimes how you get a lot of views on something and you don't really know why this Talbot's little black dress I paid three dollars and seventy cents it sold for thirty five dollars profit was twenty six thirty eight sold in four weeks fifty views and three watchers and also at the end I've got a summary for you of the percentage of my items that sold during different time frames like less than a week two to three weeks so if you're new to this you can get an idea of how long it takes things to sell really there is no rule for that but if you analyze the data over time you can kind of come up with some rough guidelines for yourself you know how long does it take for this to sell really again no set in stone rule but you can get some ideas and it's all about your business the way you run your business not necessarily you know all dresses will sell within four weeks that's not how it works at at all okay I've got another Chico's item the sweater that was new with tag paid three dollars and eighteen cents sold for thirty three dollars profit was twenty four sixty six sold in three weeks thirty one views no watchers this is a top I actually bought for myself and I've worn it in a couple of videos and then I just decided to sell it actually everything I have is up for sale all the time so um, I figure why not you know people might buy it you, I can always get more where that came from really cheap so this was just an off-brand I think it was grace was the name of the brand and it might be like a uh, brand you'd see it TJ Maxx or somewhere like that three dollars and eighteen cents it sold for eleven dollars profit was six dollars and thirty nine cents it sold in three weeks thirty two views and two watchers and this is a real popular color right now this sapphire blue so a lot of times I pick things up just because it is a popular color regardless of the brand and those two items both of those sapphire blue items sold to the same buyer 
So I thought that was interesting. Apparently she liked the color too. Okay, this is an altered state dress. I paid $6.88. It sold for $39. Profit was $27.74. Sold in six weeks. 40 views and no watchers, but it did go for full price. Another Chico's top. I paid $6.35. It sold for $25. Profit was $14.14. Sold in six weeks. 77 views and three watchers. This was a fun item called Yoga Toes. They're, it's a gel thing that you stick your toes in and it stretches out your toes. Uh, like if you have to wear closed toe shoes all day or you wear pointy shoes or hammer toes or anything like, anything like that that would um, cause your toes to be all crammed up together. Uh, it's actually like a therapy for your feet. So I paid $3 for this took an offer of 20 profit was 1577 it sold in five weeks 61 views and two watchers okay this item I was really going for it with that high price because it was a uh, retired um, I had it listed for 6497 it's a jelly cat plush I had no idea how much it might go for and that's what you do when you have something retired and there's not another one like it go big why not you can always come down on your price. So after a, um, a little while of having it and getting lower offers, I decided, well, I've got that overpriced. So this was only, it was a little one. It was only 10 inches long. So I paid a dollar six for it, took a $35 offer. Profit was $30.08. Took about six weeks to sell with 68 views and no watchers. Okay, this is a wetsuit top. I do not know how to pronounce this, so I'm not even going to try. I paid $5 for this, sold for $20, profit was $14.50, sold in two weeks, 33 views, and three watchers. And this was the first wetsuit item I had found. I live really close to a lake where there's a lot of uh, boating and jet skiing and stuff like that. And I don't see a whole lot of this stuff in our stores, I guess because living in the south people just don't wear them you know there's no need we have enough warm weather all year so um, that was a fun different find for me and let's see did I tell you the prices on that uh, paid five dollars sold for 20 profit was 14.50 33 views and three watchers okay this is a furla belt a leather belt I paid three dollars took an offer of 20 Profit was fifteen oh nine, sold in two weeks, thirty nine views and one watcher. And here is another order. Somebody bought the next four things. They bought all these at one time. So it's always fun when that happens. Um, I had this happen three or four times this month. So, um, which is kind of rare for me. So I, I don't know if it's because I'm increasing my inventory or what's going on with that so I'm not complaining that's a good thing Chico's open front sweater I paid six dollars and thirty cents sold it for twenty nine ninety nine profit was nineteen seventy nine sold in two weeks fifty three views and one watcher it's another fun Chico's top I paid three dollars and eighteen cents sold for nineteen ninety nine Profit was twelve eighteen. This sold in four weeks. Twenty four views and one watcher. This is a one world sequin top. I paid three dollars and eighteen cents. It sold for fourteen ninety nine. My profit was nine eighty six. Sold in eight weeks. Seventy eight views and one watcher. And then a cycling jersey, Pearl Azumi brand. I paid six dollars and thirty five cents. Sold for twenty four ninety nine. Profit was fifteen thirty nine. dollars sold in four weeks with 45 views and one watcher. And then this is a Shelly Siegel cocktail dress. This was $3.70, sold for $30 on best offer. My profit was $23.13, sold in two weeks, 29 views, no watchers. This is a pair of Columbia plaid shorts. This was free to me. Somebody gave me a bag of clothes a while back and this was in it. 
So I took an $8 offer, profit was $7.65, sold in seven weeks, 67 views and two watchers. This is a Lily Pulitzer skirt and it was new with tag. I paid $6.35, sold it for 20. Profit was $10.90. It took about two months to sell. I was holding out for a higher price, but it just wasn't happening. 55 views and two watchers. And again, let me state that my business is becoming more turn and burn, more about the fast nickel than the slow dime, simply because there's just so much out there to get. You know, there's a million more where this came from for me. So I'm just not hanging on to stuff very long anymore because I'd rather have the money now than wait at this point in my business. Okay, this is a John Deere hat, was new with tag. I paid $3 for it, sold it for $24.97, full price. Profit was $18.81, it sold in two months, had 90 views and one watcher. This is another men's hat, Nike Dry Fit Duke University. I paid 55 cents for this at a church store, a church sale, sold for $10, profit was $8.18, sold in one month. This is a Woolrich skirt. I paid $3.18. That number is half price at Goodwill for me. So you're going to see full price is $6.35, including tax. Half of that is $3.18. This sold for $20. Profit was $13.65. Sorry, $13.85. Sold in six weeks. 23 views and zero watchers. This St. John skirt, I paid full price at Goodwill $6.35 took a best offer of 45 profit was $33.49 it took three weeks to sell 60 views and two watchers and you might assume that St. John items would have more than two watchers so you just really can't go by that because watchers really don't mean anything I, I wish eBay would not even show that to us because it, it just confuses people it it makes you try to analyze it and it's it's just an unknown it's it's really not worth thinking about I'm glad that they're allowing us to send offers to watchers now that's really the only use I see for them but that's just my opinion this is a miss me brand dress this sold for full price I paid six dollars and thirty cents sold for twenty nine ninety seven profit was twenty dollars and forty seven cents it sold in a week 13 views and no watchers. This is a free people dress. I paid $5 for this, took an offer of 25. Profit was $17.48. It sold in two months. 173 views and two watchers. Here's another multi item order. This person ordered a bunch of uh, three skirts and a top, and none of it had been listed very long at all. First item was a Talbot skirt. I paid $2.09, sold it for $10. Profit was $6.61, sold in two weeks. 34 views and zero watchers. Now let me say that if the buyer had not purchased multiple items and I didn't see her making multiple offers, I would not have taken this low of a price, but it, this was kind of like an add-on item, kind of like, do you want fries with that? You know, you're going to take less for it because you've got the buyer in hand. So that's one reason for the lower price. Also, I have started going to more than just Goodwill, again, investigating some other thrift stores and getting things for much less than Goodwill. So it's good to mix up your, your price points on where you're getting your inventory. Goodwill tends to have well where I live they tend to have better quality items they're they're not as manhandled and um, junky looking as some of the lower price thrift stores so I'm gonna get a higher quality item at Goodwill it's gonna be cleaner it's gonna look nicer it's gonna have fewer defects and then at these other lower price thrift stores the quality is not as great but you can get some good what I call filler items for a pretty low price that you can flip pretty fast so it's good to have different sources for your inventory so that you're buying things at different price points 
Okay, continuing on this Coldwater Creek skirt. I just thought this was really cool looking. Paid four dollars and seventeen cents. Sold for twenty. Profit was thirteen twenty three. Sold in a week. Thirty six views and no watchers. Another item in that order was this cute Ralph Lauren nautical looking top. I paid two dollars and twelve cents. Took ten dollars for it. Profit was six dollars and fifty eight cents. It sold in one day. Ten views, one watcher. And then another kind of nautical looking item, this Talbot skirt, paid $4.17, sold for $15. Profit was $10.81, sold in a week, 22 views and one watcher. So when you've got a buyer that's going to purchase multiple items, sometimes they'll message you ahead of time and tell you they're looking at a bunch of stuff. And you see those offers come in and it's the same buyer you're willing to take less because you're going to sell more items you're going to have to ship one package instead of multiple packages and it's just taking advantage of having that buyer in hand who's ready to spend money okay this Ralph Lauren dress it's kind of a metallic looking it's actually lame l-a-m-e which is that shiny metallic material it was really big in the disco days in the 70s I remember people wearing a lot of that. Um, I paid $6.88 for this. It sold for $35.50 on best offer. Profit was $24.79. Sold in seven weeks. Had 138 views. I don't know how many watchers because watch count got kind of glitchy and it wasn't showing the number of watchers so I don't know. This is a J. Jill linen top. I paid $2.18. It sold for $15. Profit was $11.53, sold in seven weeks, 44 views, and I don't know how many watchers. This Chico sweater, I paid $3.18, sold for $25. Profit was $19.26, sold in four weeks, 126 views. I don't know how many watchers. I had sold this previously. It was returned. And it sold again, and I even wore it in a video. So I got my money's worth out of this one. Okay, this is a Talbot's, let's see, is this linen or wool? Oh, this one is cotton. Okay, there's two that look kind of the same. This one's cotton, $2.09. I sold it for $15. Profit was $11.65. This sold in two weeks, 27 views, and I don't know how many watchers. This is a cute Gap gingham top I paid two dollars and twelve cents sold it for twelve dollars profit was eight eighty five it sold in three days nineteen views and I don't know how many watchers so you'll see that a lot of this lower price stuff like two dollars and less I'm turning that out fast because it's easy I can and I find a lot of this kind of mall brand I call it stuff at these lower price thrift stores that you know if you want to make money fast that's what you do you turn and burn you you sell it you restock you sell it some more it just depends on how much work you want to put into it and how fast you want to make your money sometimes you just don't want to wait for whoever will pay the higher price and it's all about how you want to run your business there's no right or wrong way to do it this is an LLB nautical top I paid six dollars and thirty five cents for this took twenty five on best offer Profit was $16.13, sold in seven weeks, 51 views, and no watchers. This is a K Unger kilt style skirt. This was new with tag. I paid $5.34, sold it for $25. Profit was $16.43, sold in a week, 33 views, and one watcher. This is a Charter Club tunic not a brand I normally pick up but this was a hundred percent linen embroidered on the front and I sell this style of item quite frequently especially if it's a hundred percent linen so that's why I picked this one up paid three dollars and eighteen cents I would not have paid any more than that for it sold it for fifteen profit was ten dollars and fifty six cents sold in six weeks forty views and one watcher Okay, another J. Jill item. This went for full price. This is just a linen t-shirt. 
paid $3.18 for this. It sold for $22.97. Profit was $17.36. Sold in a month, 78 views and three watchers. So if you just think about it, this is a t-shirt, right? Made of linen, so that's what makes it special. Pink is a color I sell a lot of. And this brand does really well for me, J. Jill. So this is one of those filler items. It's just not a huge profit, but when you think about, wow, walking away with profit of $17 on a little t-shirt, you know, do that 50 to 100 times a month and you're talking about some good money. All right, this is a Mountain Hardware brand jacket. I paid $6.35 for this. I took a $26 offer. Profit was $18.16, sold in six weeks, 103 views and one watcher. This was my highest profit item this month. Trafalgar suspenders. These are braided leather suspenders. I paid $3.18. Sold for full price of $54.97. Profit was $45.33. Sold in six weeks. 100 views and two watchers. This was a pretty Columbia Omni Shade shirt. Paid $2.12 took a $15 offer. Profit was $11.59. It sold in five days. 20 views and one watcher. Brooks Brothers 100% linen top paid $6.35. It sold for 20. Profit was $11.71. Sold in six weeks. 43 views and three watchers. You'll notice I sell a lot of linen and it's it's a higher quality fabric it is more expensive, but it's a pain to make it look good. And somebody actually commented on my video either last month or the one before about, are you still steaming your clothes? Because they look kind of wrinkly in this video. And I was like, really? Which which items are you talking about? And she said it was all of them were 100% linen. So um, even when you iron it, it's really hard to get every single wrinkle out. And sometimes these days, people are just wearing it wrinkled. They don't care. Actually, after you've had it on for a while, it's going to wrinkle anyway. But um, <laughs> referring to my proper southern upbringing, you know, we were not allowed to leave the house if our clothes were not ironed. If we were, if something was wrinkled, my mother would just be like, "Oh, you need. We need to iron that right now. Take that off right now. We need to iron that. You look like you're wearing a wadded up Kleenex." <laughs> Or you, that looks like it's been under your bed for a month and it's just linen and sometimes cotton just wrinkles. So you do the best you can and some people hate ironing and they're not going to do it and they're just going to list it the way it is. But I guess my perfectionist nature, I like things to look as good as possible. So what I do when I am sorting through what I've purchased to list, I put all the linen aside and then I have like an ironing afternoon, put on a movie or TV show or something, set up my ironing board and just iron my stuff. I actually find it kind of meditative and calming and I don't mind doing it. So back in the day when I got married, my husband had a corporate job and he had to wear a you know, dress shirt and tie, basically a suit every day. And this was back in the late 80s, early 90s, up until around the time I got divorced, early 2000s. And as a young married couple, to save money, I was like, oh, well, we'll let's just iron your shirts. We don't need to take them to the cleaners because we can save money and I'll just do it. And I kind of took on that job and grew to hate it because I had to do it every week. So don't get any ideas, guys. Those days are over. I'm not ironing anything for anybody except for my eBay store. <laughs> so, um, but some people hate ironing and I don't mind it at all. So I just took 20 minutes to tell you, you're going to have to see what works for you. If your stuff sells not ironed and wrinkly, great. But I feel as a marketer and someone who understands a competition on eBay, you really need to make everything look as good as possible because the only thing between you and your buyer is a screen. So you want to stand out and, and try to rise above the average person and do a better job.
Okay, so that's my speech on ironing. All right, this is a Land's End swim dress, size 14D. I paid $6.35, sold for 20, profit was 11.19, sold in 6 weeks, 103 views and 5 watchers. And I actually found this right after I did my class on Land's End, which is a 45-minute course in the Premium Library. A lot of people think Land's End is crappy and it's just a crappy Sears brand and that's not the story at all. This company's been around for I think 50 years and there are certain things that sell very well. Some of their stuff is made very well and there are certain things that people look for because this was a well-established catalog brand way back before the internet and it's like kind of like L.L. Bean, Eddie Bauer, along those lines. So if you're passing this over because you think it doesn't sell well, you might want to revisit that. Okay, Eddie Bauer long skirt. I paid $3.18 for this. It sold for $17. Profit was $10.37. Sold in two weeks. 17 views and zero watchers. This was an interesting cashmere sweater also a Charter Club brand. I don't normally pick up this brand but again this was interesting and unusual and if you're new to this you're not going to know what interesting and unusual is until you've done eBay for a while and you've seen some things and you've bought some things and you've sold some things and because you don't have anything to compare it to yet. So I don't pick up every single cashmere sweater I see because that would just be too much work to do. So I pick out things that are interesting, unusual, certain colors, certain sizes, things that I think will sell for high prices or quickly. And this one did sell quickly. It sold within a week. I paid $6.35 for this. It sold for $24. Profit was $15.32. Had 59 views and three watchers. And actually, when I got it home, I discovered a small hole, which took about three minutes to sew up. And nope. No problem, didn't have to sell it as damaged because I repaired it. All right, this is a Talbot's 100% linen top. Paid $2.12, sold for $18. This sold in three days. 22 views and two watchers. Okay, why did I buy this? Talbot's is a great brand. It's a consistent brand. It's been around for a while. People understand the quality and they like it. 100% linen and this pretty coral color and then it had this interesting scalloped detail along the hemline so uh, do I pick up every single thing that's 100% linen no I don't it's that cocktail of attributes it's got to have a lot of things going for it to make it a good seller and you will learn that as you go along Jennifer Lopez brand this was a tank top with sequins on it $2.12, sold for $13.97, profit was $10.70, it sold in four days, 16 views and two watchers. This is another brand I don't normally pick up, but I was at the $2 place, and this was like two layers, kind of a chiffon texture with all these uh, the sequins and beading on it, and I thought this looks perfect for 4th of July or with a pair of white pants at the beach you know it's just it was kind of dressy kind of cool looking top so my intuition was right on that one it sold in four days so I was happy about that okay life is good t-shirt two dollars and twelve cents sold for fourteen profit was ten dollars and seventy cents it sold in three days twenty one views and zero watchers I love life is good when I can get it cheap enough I'm not gonna pay more than three dollars for it though unless it's new with tag and a really big size and something really unusual then maybe um, but when I do my life is good and most other t-shirt listings I do a picture like this where it's a close-up of the design because I know people who love this brand but they're looking for specific things and there's so much of it on eBay that my picture is going to stand out because I've got the close-up of what they want so here's a couple of other ones that sold we've got the beach with the fence and then the flip-flops and um, it just kind of makes it easier for the buyer to see what the design is in addition to reading the title but we all know people look at pictures before they read that's why magazines have such huge ads in them is because people are looking at the pictures first 
Okay, Lily Pulitzer sundress. I paid $7.42 for this, sold for $25. Profit was $14.99. Took about seven weeks to sell. It had 81 views and four watchers. I've noticed a decline in prices you can get for Lily Pulitzer over the past maybe year. Used to get a lot more for it, but I'm happy with this. $25 was good. This is an REI brand skirt with the built-in UPF, which is like sun protection. Paid $6.35. It sold for $23. Profit was $14.29. It sold in a month. 25 views and no watchers. So it was out there a month, but it only had 25 views. So that's roughly one view a day. So think about if you had a store, like a brick-and-mortar store, that's one person a day looking at this item. I think that's fair. I think that's a realistic expectation. This is a Nike golf skirt. I paid $4.47. It sold for $22. Profit was $15.36. It sold in three weeks. 21 views and zero watchers. Another J. Jill. This was an extra large pullover top. I paid $6.35. It sold for $30. Profit was $22.31. It sold in six weeks. 81 views and one watcher. This was an interesting Athleta crocheted skirt. I paid $6.35. It sold for $20. Profit was $11.09. It sold in three weeks. 43 views and one watcher. And you'll notice a lot of my listings have the word festival in the title. And if you want to know what that means, there's an entire video on it in the Premium Library explaining what that is and when you could use that word to help sell your item. It's a marketing technique. This is a Gap top. This is another kind of mall brand I don't sell a lot of, but if it's interesting or unusual or new with tag, I may pick it up. $3.18, sold for $15. Profit was $10.56, sold in two months. 52 views and zero watchers and again it's that style of the loose cut flowy top with the pretty embroidery on it that I, I sell a lot of that. Here is a Lucky Brand t-shirt. I paid $2.12, sold for $18.97, profit was $15.07, sold in five days, 18 views and two watchers. Okay here's an interesting item. This is a Speedo swimsuit. It's a one piece, but it had this funky little tiny skirt on it. So it really wasn't a swim dress. And I had to do a little research to figure out what to call this cut of swimsuit. And it's called a princess cut. And it goes back to the 50s. I went to the site uh, 50s bathing suit history. And so you can see in the picture there, they're wearing that kind of one piece with the little tiny skirt over the bottom and so here it explains the princess bathing suit of the 50s was a classic sheath the top usually had a sweetheart neckline with a very tight short pencil skirt covering the front part of the bottom sometimes this extended to the back as well so you can see the pictures there and there's a very famous photo shoot with Marilyn Monroe wearing one of these types of princess bathing suits. So that does have a name. Do I know if the buyer searched for that name? I have no idea. But in an effort to be very thorough and descriptive, I figured out what, what is the name of this? What is this called? So that hopefully it would attract the right buyer and it sold in a week. So I guess I did that right. Okay, this is a Montana West handbag, and I paid $4 for this. It sold for $40. Profit was $31.09. It sold in a month. 110 views and three watchers. I don't do a lot of handbags unless they are uh, not designer, because I want to stay under the radar on that. That market is way too competitive, way too many fakes, and I just don't even care to do that. So I will do them if it's... Um, something interesting or it's a brand that is not oversaturated and that's the key on eBay scarcity creates value you want to pick the things that a million other people don't have 
Okay, this is a True Religion t-shirt with sequins on it. I knew this would sell in time for 4th of July, which it sold in June, so that person has it. I paid $3.18, sold for $20, profit was $14.66, it sold in two months, 93 views and three watchers. I got a lot of really low offers on this, but I knew I could get at least 20 for it, so I, I held out. Columbia Omni Shade Shorts. These I paid $2.50 for. They sold for $15. Profit was $11.24. Took six weeks to sell. 146 views and seven watchers. Soft Joey Newberry Oversized Top. So just kind of a slouchy top. This had a $98 tag on it. I thought I would get a lot more than $20 for it, but... Um, I didn't get very many high offers on this. I paid $5 for it, took 20, profit was $13.06, sold in three weeks, 59 views and three watchers. Here's another Land's End item, a swim skirt. I paid $2.12 for this, it sold for 15, profit was $11.59, sold in three weeks, 92 views and seven watchers. Another Ann Taylor item, I paid $3.18 for this skirt that was new with tag, sold for $20, profit was $14.93, sold in two and a half months, 43 views and one watcher. This was a fun Eddie Bauer flannel hoodie. I paid $4 for this, it sold for $28, profit was $20.43, sold in three weeks, 24 views and no watchers. This White House black market top did not go as planned at all. I paid $6.35 for this. Thought it was really cool looking with the colors, black, white, and red, 100% silk. And I was expecting $35 for this. I didn't get any offers. And I sent offers out on this, nobody responded, and finally took an offer for $18. So even those of us that have been doing this a really long time, sometimes things just don't go as planned. So my profit was $9.84, sold in two months, 81 views and four watchers. Okay, this was a cool pair of shoes, a brand I had never sold before, Charles Jordan out of France. These were red polka dot sandals. They were wooden, so just kind of an interesting different looking pair of shoes. I paid $6.35, sold these for $25, profit was $19.96, sold in two months, 186 views and six watchers. This is a Vineyard Vines fleece pullover, paid $6.35, sold for $25, profit was $17.24, sold in a month, 41 views and one watcher. Eddie Bauer, Another 100% linen shirt, but look, it's so ironed perfectly. <laughs> no wrinkles. Um, I paid $6.30, sold it for $20. Profit was $11.17, sold in three weeks. 44 views and one watcher. This Ann Taylor Loft skirt sold for full price. It was just a cool looking Moroccan trellis lattice kind of pattern. I thought somebody might want to wear this around 4th of July. It just looked, you know, festive and different. Paid $5 for this, sold for $29.97. Profit was $21.77, sold in three weeks, 20 views and zero watchers. This sweater was 100% cashmere. I paid $3.18, sold it for $25. Profit was $19.30. Sold in three weeks, 73 views and two watchers. And it had this interesting neckline detail with this attached tie thing that you could either wear tied or in a knot or just loose. So that was just an interesting detail I liked. This pair of shoes was $6.35. I took an offer of 25. Ralph Lauren women's wingtip shoes made of leather. So my profit was $7.21. They sold in a month, 56 views, and I don't know how many watchers because watch count did not have that information. This is another Talbot skirt. This one was wool. I paid $2.09 for this, took a $15 offer, 
profit was 1165 sold in three weeks 18 views and I don't know how many watchers this set of steak knives was three dollars sold for full price of 2297 profit was seventeen dollars and eighty eight cents sold in two months with 99 views I don't know how many watchers this Ann Taylor loft top sold in three days I paid three dollars for this just a really interesting looking romantic lace with the peplum black sleeveless it just looked cool plus it had a seventy dollar tag on it I paid three dollars it sold for thirty four ninety seven and it had thirty eight views I don't know how many watchers okay here's another fun t-shirt this was a lucky brand t-shirt I paid two dollars and twelve cents sold it for thirteen it sold in two weeks 31 views and couldn't tell you how many watchers okay this anthropology Eva Franco skirt I paid four dollars and seventeen cents sold it for 35 profit was 2701 sold it in two weeks 54 views I don't know how many watchers here's that other life is good t-shirt paid two dollars and twelve cents I took ten dollars for this because the first time I had it listed I got a question from a buyer that was this the way the light was reflecting or is that a stain and so I got it out and looked at it and I had missed a stain on it so that buyer alerted me so I um, redid the listing and was willing to take less because it had a defect that I did not see and that's just gonna happen if you're selling really anything you're gonna get it home and you're gonna find things wrong with it so you just list it as is and move on sometimes you guys will email me about is this worth getting dry cleaned or how long should I work on getting a stain out and if, if you have access to a lot of inventory and a lot of sourcing around you it's really just not even worth putting the time into fixing very many things okay yes I will sew up cashmere sweaters because I can do that quickly if it's a small hole that isn't going to take a lot of my time to deal with but if you've got silk that has stains on it that's nearly impossible to get out and if it's a really high-end piece maybe you might take it to the cleaners but you have to do a cost-benefit analysis is it going to be worth your money and your time to deal with making this item better so you can get more money for it when what you've got to realize is your time is so valuable and I think maybe older more mature people get this more than the younger people but it's all about how much you can do in a day and if you get sidetracked and spend two hours hand washing something trying to get a stain out of it and to make you know five or ten more dollars that's really not worth your time because that two hours could be spent listing 20 more things or going to the thrift store and buying more stuff or doing some other income producing activity so you really need to weigh out that cost benefit analysis of fixing things repairing things trying to get stains out how much time are you going to put into it because that is taking you away from something else that could be making more money for you so I've learned to just let things go because you know there's a million more where that came from and just move on don't get bogged down in these things okay Bernie Mev shoes size 40 paid six dollars and thirty five cents took an offer of forty three profit was twenty nine dollars and fifty cents took two months to sell ninety seven views no watchers another Chico's item this went for full price Chico's energy golf shirt I paid three dollars and eighteen cents sold for twenty four ninety seven profit was nineteen dollars and thirteen cents sold in two months fifty five views no watchers here's another item that got returned this was in last month's video and I sold it again and it has a stain oh, sorry has a hole on it here's another item that got returned and I sold it again so if you're worried about returns this is proof that okay let them return it you just sell it again and this even had a small hole in it 
I paid $5 for this, sold for $17, profit was $10.45, sold in four weeks after it was returned, 59 views and two watchers. This is a J. Crew size 14 top, new with tag, I paid $2.12, sold for $20, profit was $15.97, sold in two weeks, 75 views and three watchers. This was a cool looking belt. I paid $3.18, took $20 for it, profit was $14.84, sold in six weeks, 101 views and four watchers. This is a Columbia shirt. These roll tab sleeve shirts are really popular right now. I paid $2.12 for this, sold it for $22, profit was $17.71. This sold in two weeks, 75 views and three watchers. Another Talbot's 100% linen item, and doesn't it look beautiful? No wrinkles. This kind of had a nautical look to it. Paid $2.12, sold for $17. Profit was $13.36, sold in three months, 56 views and two watchers. This is a pair of Nike Air Max shoes. I paid $6.24 for these, sold them for 30. Profit was $21.97, sold in a week, 37 views, no watchers. This is another anthropology brand called Tool, T-U-L-L-E, sleeveless dress. It was kind of fun, polka dots. It was kind of an interesting, unusual looking neckline with the sheer material in there. I paid $2.12, sold it for full price of $29.97. Profit was $27.57, sold in four weeks, 40 views, and no watchers. If you are just getting into clothing and want to learn about all everything anthropology, I've got a 90-minute course on that in my premium library where you can learn all about these brands, recognizing them, and what kind of styles sell the best, all that stuff. Um, that course is ready for you to take it. Now here's a fun brand. This was new for me. It's called Psycho Bunny. This is out of the United Kingdom. I paid $6.35 for this, sold it for 40. Profit was $29.14, sold it in six weeks, 159 views, three watchers. And I had to laugh <laughs> as soon as I saw the logo with the bunny and the crossbones under it. My mind immediately went to the movie 9 to 5 when they have the Riddo rat uh, rat poison that they accidentally put in the boss's coffee and one of them says well see they look the same as skinny and sweet except for the skull and crossbones and so now I will never forget this brand because it has the bunny skull and crossbones. <laughs> But it's funny, um, what sticks in your mind with these movies, everything to me is like a reference to a movie or a song or a TV show. That's, that's how I remember stuff. So flashback to the 80s with that movie 9 to 5. Okay, this is another brand that was new for me, Castelli. And I was a victim of autocorrect on this because there should be an I at the end of the brand name, but autocorrect took it off and I didn't even know, but it sold anyway. This is a cycling jersey. I paid $2.12, sold it for $20. Profit was $15.94, sold in three weeks, 19 views and zero watchers. So that being a victim of autocorrect happens to everybody. And sometimes you will, you know, tell tell it, no, don't correct that. Leave it the same. And then when you submit the listing, it still changes it. So you always want to at least try to proofread when you have submitted your listing to make sure words in the title didn't get accidentally changed because this does happen. I think sometimes it'll change anthropology to anthropologist and you know stuff like that. It's obviously a autocorrect issue and for those of you that do look at my store and do send me emails about misspellings or a problem on my listing, I really do appreciate it. Um, you are not going to hurt my feelings at all because it's a lot for one pair of eyes to catch everything. And so I really do appreciate when you take the time to message me and tell me, 
you know, hey, your last picture's upside down, or you spelled this wrong, or um, whatever it is. Um, thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. Okay, this is another Land's End item, a swim skirt with shorts. I paid $3.18, sold for $13.98, profit was $9.67, sold in two months, 45 views and zero watchers. And here we have a Ralph Lauren long 100% linen skirt. Please note the absence of wrinkles. <laughs> See, now I'm like totally paranoid about that and everything's going to look so good. There's going to be no wrinkles in anything. So this was a size 20W, uh, big size. So plus size things sell well because there are just not as many of them out there. And, you know, these nice plus size ladies they just want to wear what everybody else is wearing so they shop on eBay a lot because there's just not as many of those plus sizes out there as there are the smaller sizes and it seems like um, like every time I go to Old Navy to shop you know and just get shorts or jeans or whatever if you are a size 2 or a 4 you have it made in that store because that's like all there is you know good luck finding an 8 or a 10 because there's just none in there so anyway that's my rant okay last item is a miracle suit swimsuit this I paid six dollars and thirty five cents for sold it for twenty five profit was sixteen twenty nine it sold in six weeks sixty six views zero watchers okay what was returned the Eddie Bauer pink flannel shirt hoodie was returned and a Under Armour top that I had in last month's video. So my returns were $56 worth of merchandise and then I have free shipping, free return shipping. Now several of you have asked do you return the original shipping to them and no I don't because free returns is just that. It's free returns. You're paying for them to send it back to you and you're not paying, you're not going to refund what it costs to send it to them. Now if you want to go the extra mile and do that you can but free returns is exactly that free returns. So the total I had to either refund to a customer or through free returns was $64.30 and I am confident those items will sell again so I'm not worried about that. Okay now for the numbers this is where you can pause the video and look at each screen. I have sorted these items in order of profit in descending order so the highest profit items are first and then we go through and you can see the first column is the price I paid for the item the second column is the sale price the third column is profit and you can see there I have deducted returns and refunds so that the grand total of profit for the month is $1,572.64. So if we look at a comparison and my vision here is to do this sales update for this entire year every month and give you a year to date total of what the average person can do because so many of you ask that. How much can I make? Well, it all depends on how much time you put into it, what you're selling, all of that. It's, it's all based on each individual, but I'm doing this to lead by example so that you can see if you're consistent and you continue to work on it, that's the key is consistency. So you can see that I sold 97 items in June Profit per item is $16.87. Yes, that has dropped, but total profit increased. My increase from the previous month was 6.87%, so not huge, but I'm holding steady. And increase from January of 156%. So I'm kind of modeling this for those of you that are just starting or you're heading into retirement and you want to do this on the side you can see that over six months time you can really build this if you just continue to work on it and that's that's really the key to everything is consistency so let's go over some observations 
I sold 14 items at full price. That was 14% of my total number of sold items. 83 were on best offer, which is 86%. So that's increasing because we have that send offer feature now, and I'm using it. Items under $25. 59 items of the 97 were under $25. That's 61% of my items. The cost for those items was $201.96, creating a profit of $750.65. So this shows you the little things add up over time. And we're going to look at this in December over the whole year. How many items under $25 were sold and the profit they created. So it is all about consistency and just building on that. Okay, how long did it take for things to sell? I sold 21 items or 22% of my total items sold in less than a week. 29% of my items sold within two to three weeks. 22% sold within four to six weeks and 27% took more than six weeks to sell. So that's pretty even. The time frame of two to three weeks is slightly higher than the others. So for me, the way I'm running my business now, I'm turning things over a lot faster than I used to. Now for feedback, 97 sales, I got 44 feedbacks which is about 45% of buyers. So that's gone up a little bit. I got more feedback than normal this month, which is always good. Now, what changed this month? I sold six brands that I had never sold before. Either I stumbled on them in the store or um, it just looked high quality or whatever. And so even someone like me that's been doing this a very long time, you still want to introduce new items and try new things. That's what's going to keep your business growing. I am now getting some of my items cheaper. And that's something every seller works on is reducing your costs. So many of the costs in this business we cannot control, such as the fees or uh, the listing fees, the final value fees, shipping which is not really a cost because if you're doing calculated, the buyer is going to pay that. But things like supplies, printer ink, all that stuff you have to buy, those costs really are kind of set. What you can do is try to find items cheaper. So that's one way you can realize higher profit is by decreasing your cost of inventory and then sending offers every day. I'm religiously doing that at least once a day. Let's see if I get any bites on that. Now, what are the takeaways from this video? Slow progress is still progress. I know a lot of you out there are just getting started or you feel kind of stuck and you wanna look at the big picture of your business. Just because you're not getting a lot of sales at the moment doesn't mean you're failing. It means you're just not getting a lot of sales at the moment. You're doing work that's going to come to fruition later. That thing called delayed gratification, just remind yourself of that. And pay attention to what is working for you and do more of it. I can't stress that enough because what works for somebody else might not work for you. And everybody wants a quick answer. You know, tell me to do A, B, and C. And sometimes it's just not easy because eBay has so many moving parts. There's a lot of different parts of the business that everybody can do differently. So you just keep tweaking things and what's working, build on that. Do more of that, whether it's the number of items you're listing a day or where you're getting your items or the types of items that are selling, the types of items that are selling the quickest things you can get listed the quickest. Some people don't do clothes because it takes them too long and they don't like that. So there's no right or wrong way. It's what works for you. Also, don't get stuck in analysis paralysis. Focus on what you can control and do more of it. So here is 
a screenshot of my sales for this time frame. And look at that. The days are just up and down. There's no reason to any of it. Um, that big spike was the middle of the week. It wasn't a Saturday. You know, people try to make up these generalized rules about when things sell more than others and you know don't ever list at this time of day and you should always do this and you should never do that and again sometimes there's no rhyme or reason and nobody can explain it so don't waste time trying to figure it out focus on what you can control and do more of that because worrying about it and trying to analyze every little thing is a waste of time there's too many unknowns there's too many variables and you're just gonna get frustrated think about it like this success it's not always what you see and just because you don't see the results of your work right this second or within a week or within a month doesn't mean nothing's happening below the surface you just keep you keep going and you focus on what you can control that empowers you instead of thinking eBay fees are too high I can't do this it's too hard um, I don't have enough time don't think that way empower yourself by thinking about and focusing on what you can control so let's talk about some of those things you can control how much or how often you list to a point, yes. Nobody wants to sit at their computer 14 hours a day and, and just be a, a robot. That's not good for anybody. But can you list more often? Can you can you squeeze in two more things a day? Because if you can, that's 60 things a month, and that's going to matter. Even one extra thing a day. When you're ready to quit, do one more. And that's 30 more things a month. Is everything optimized on your account? Have you gone back and looked at old listings and seen if you can write a better title? That kind of stuff. That's really important because if you're not coming up in search, then people aren't seeing your items and they can't buy them. Could you take better pictures? Do you have items sitting there that you look at it and you're like, yeah, that was when I first started and I didn't really know what I was doing. Go get those items out and take better pictures. You can do that. You can revise your item. There's no cost to do that. And maximize and optimize the work you've already done you already bought that item listed it priced it go pull it out retake the pictures freshen up make it look better it doesn't it's not all about how much can you buy and how much can you list it's about optimizing what you've already done are you using that send offer feature if not try it and the amount of the offer is just going to depend on what are you happy with how long have you had the item I have a video all about a best offer strategy that how I determine whether or not I accept an offer and it's, it's just different factors about how long have you had the item what kind of offers are you getting have you reevaluated the pricing so you can check that video out and are you accepting offers are you declining offers that would work would be okay maybe it's not optimal but you know if you take offers for things three offers a week more than you're taking now that's gonna add up over time and you're gonna keep moving your inventory and getting sales at any price is good for your business it it keeps the ball rolling and then getting inventory cheaper I have a video on that that helps you think outside of the box on more ways to get inventory at a lower price because that's the number one controllable expense of an eBay seller is how much you pay for your inventory so if you haven't really analyzed that there are better ways and other things you could be doing that maybe you're not okay I always give an update on my premium content library so as of June 15th 2019 there are 167 videos 60 hours of education and I am your personal help desk anytime you have a question problem frustration as a member of the premium library so come check that out and see what is in there okay we are at the end thank you so much for watching please leave your comments and have a profitable and productive day on eBay bye